Hello, uh, my name is Ankit Alex Hansa, you are 15 CS 258 and I am making this video to explain the 7th experiment of Java Lab that is exception handling. So the aim of this experiment is to make an ATM uh, <coughs> managing software uh, which allows you to uh, deposit, withdraw, inqu balance inquiry and change the pin of your account. So for that First of all, I have made an uh, interface that is ATM machine. Uh, it has uh, three uh, three fun methods that is deposit, withdraw, and balance and carry, and which we have implemented these methods in uh, uh, ATM dot Java. Uh, in this first of deposit, this will uh, uh, get the input of the uh, balance and uh, uh, keep the uh, keep the and store that value and uh, when we withdraw uh, it will first of all uh, first of all uh, uh, check whether the withdrawing uh, amount is uh, less than or is uh, less than the uh, available balance if it is more than the available balance then it throws an exception which is withdraw exception this is a custom exception which we have made which i have made to uh, whenever uh, the uh, for uh, whenever uh, an exception uh, occurs during withdrawing uh, so uh, next uh, and we will pass uh, no left to no left no money to left withdraw uh, when we whenever this exception occurs and the third uh, implementation is balance required this will just print the uh, balance of the system uh, so the next part is the exceptions these are the two exceptions the withdraw mm -hmm. exception and the pine exception the pin exception the withdraw exception is to as i told is to handle any exception that occurs during withdraw and pin exception uh, is to handle uh, the exception which occurs uh, when we try to uh, uh, enter the wrong pin more than three times which we have implemented in the main main function so as you can see i have first of all made an infinity loop inside which a uh, pin method runs and it is under the try catch of pin exception because pin uh, method can throw a pin exception uh, inside pin exception uh, i have uh, made that i have kept a count to keep the count as to uh, keep the count of tries and uh, it will allow three time uh, three uh, three tries and if uh, if the pin is correct it will uh, forward the uh, uh, forward the control to console method but if it is not it will again repeat and continue till uh, the count reaches three and will throw up pin exception uh, which we can handle here as you can see which we handled here through which through switch case uh, uh, sorry try key try catch and uh, moving on we have this console method what this console method does is uh, 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 it gives uh, console uh, gives the options which the user can do uh, with his uh, uh, with his, his bank account after successfully entering the pin that is he can withdraw deposit uh, inquire his balance or set pin uh, so these are all uh, implemented in the a in the bank account uh, sorry in the atm and uh, and all the bank account details are stored in the bank account bank account uh, class which has it has the balance values the pin values and it has all the setter setter getters of these variables so this is how we implement this program so let's try running this program so the main function will run uh, if you run it. So as you can see, it first asks for a pin. So, uh, so the pin is act by default set to one, two, three. So if you try entering any other pin, like one of us, so it tells that I have three attempts left. So then I will again try. So now one attempt is left. Now if I try. It says that a pin is invalid and attempt attempt left is zero. So it throws in pin exception and the pin exception is handled and it prints that that the uh, access is denied. So if we try rerunning it, uh, 
it uh, so our default pin is one two three now we get the choice so first of all we will deposit some amount let it be thousand so we have deposit thousand and now uh, we need to withdraw so if we withdraw amount more than uh, more than the uh, balance then it will throw a withdraw exception for example uh, let's try 1500 so it's more than the balance so as you can see withdraw exception is thrown and it prints that no money is left so we can again do the same thing and we can withdraw uh, like uh, 400 so as you can see we have successfully withdrawn and if we check balance now now there's 600 is left so as you can see we have successfully implemented our program uh, thank you for watching